Hello my friends, David here. In this video, I compiled 10 things you probably didn't know about Destiny that revolve around the game's mechanics. The goal of this video is to show you new information you can actually use in a quick and easy to understand format. If you're up for a challenge, we can play a game with a like and dislike system as well. I think it makes it more fun. If you learn something new, then leave a like. But if you knew absolutely everything by the end of the video, then leave a dislike completely guilt-free. Decide now if you want to participate in this game, and let's get started. The Take a Knee perk on sniper rifles gives you significantly increased accuracy when no-scoping. It is so accurate that you can no-scope a target that does not even render onto your screen because it is so far away. If you have the Prison of Elders gloves with the perk Etherclaw, you can actually generate orbs when meleeing the slowing mines in Prison of Elders. Unfortunately, the Titan perk Gift of Light, which makes every kill generate orbs, doesn't appear to have the same effect. The Life Support perk is a rarely seen perk from Vanilla Destiny and is currently obtainable from Blue Weapons. It reads, Recovering from near death grants extra ammo and increased reload speed, which sounds pretty overpowered. Yet, after extensive research and testing, this is likely the only perk in Destiny that statistically does nothing and is completely broken. Shriekers in Destiny are actually pretty safe to be around. You can get incredibly close, sprint, jump around, and they will not activate. However, if you double jump, they will become active. The perk Hip Fire, which grants bonus accuracy while firing from the hip, is glitched so that the accuracy bonus can still be applied a couple seconds after aiming down sight. Therefore, immediately after aiming down sight, your shots have a much higher chance at hitting your target with hip fire than without. This is a very highly regarded perk for fusion rifles and heavy machine guns, and is most noticeable on the last word. However, keep in mind that accuracy is a statistic that still has a lot of mystery surrounding it. You can trigger the perks from the Lord of Wolves, Bad Juju, and Red Death by destroying explosive barrels, your own grenades, and enemy mines. Normally, when jumping and shooting with a sniper rifle, the shots fly all over the place and are rarely on target. However, the Celestial Nighthawk has a hidden perk that allows you to have near-perfect accuracy while jumping. I say near-perfect because the reticule sways a little bit, and it can be hard to judge for sure. The Accelerated Coils perk on fusion rifles secretly reduces the impact or damage of your weapon. So when using a fusion rifle with accelerated coils, you will do less damage than if you did not have accelerated coils equipped. When battling the fallen wolves in patrol mode, arc turrets on the ships can be a huge annoyance. However, scorch cannons can easily remove the turrets in one shot, making engagements much easier. And the final fact is that shanks will not shoot you if you get up close. Pretty cool, you should definitely try it out for yourself. So how did you do? Let me know in the comments if you learned something new, how many out of 10 you got, and any other game mechanics other people probably wouldn't know about. In my next 10 things you don't know about, I'll be sharing things that will give you a huge advantage in the Crucible, so definitely stick around for that. In any case, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.